Hi, kindergarten. My name is Mrs. Trafficant, and I'm a kindergarten teacher at Juniata Gap Elementary School. And this week in our social studies, we are going to talk about being a good citizen. So today what we're going to do is we are going to learn three new words. We're going to talk about those words, and then we're going to go ahead and read our studies weekly article together. And I'll highlight each box as we read so you can follow along with me. When we're all done, I have a couple quick questions for you to see how well you are listening. And then you and your friends at home will get to be able to have the chance to talk about the words that we talked about and some of the questions that we saw in the article. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So our first word is the word citizen. And a citizen is a person who lives in a city or a town. It can also mean a student in a classroom or school. You friends are citizens. You are a citizen of our city, Altoona, and you're also a citizen in your kindergarten classroom. Our next word is the word obey. And obey means to follow or listen to. So I'm gonna use our new word obey in a sentence. I always obey the rules of my kindergarten classroom. And our last word is the word responsible. And if you're responsible, that means you have control over or care of something or someone. Maybe you are responsible for taking care of your pet at home, or you are responsible for cleaning up and taking care of your room. So now that we've talked about our three words, we're going to go ahead and look at our studies weekly for this week, and it's called Good Citizens. And as we read, you can follow along. How can you be a good citizen? You can be responsible. You can obey the laws. You can be kind and helpful. Can you think of other ways to be a good citizen? Good citizens do their best to get along with others, but friends do not always agree about everything. What can you and a friend do if you are not getting along? Talk about the problem. Use quiet voices when you talk. Listen to each other. Ask what is fair. If you still are not getting along, take a break. Then try again later. How do you make decisions in your class? Maybe you have a chart that shows who does the jobs each day. A job chart is a fair way to make sure everyone gets a turn. What if your teacher says your class can have 15 minutes of outside recess or 15 minutes of free play inside? How would you decide? You could vote. Voting is a fair way to decide. How do you make decisions on the playground? What if two people want to swing, but there is only one swing left? Talk with your class about a fair way to decide what to do. So friends, go ahead and talk to your friends at home for a couple minutes about what would be a fair way to decide. So now friends, I have three questions to ask you. If you, these questions are gonna be yes or no, if you think the answer is yes, you're gonna give a thumbs up. If you think the answer is no, we're gonna give a thumbs down. So here's our first question. A good citizen obeys the laws. Hmm, what do you think about that? Yes, they do, or no, they don't. You should have had a thumbs up. Yes, a good citizen would obey the laws. Our next question is, voting is a fair way to decide. What do you think, yes or no? That should be yes, that is a fair way to decide. And our last question is, good citizens are not kind or helpful, yes or no? That would be a no. A good citizen would be kind and helpful to everyone. Awesome job, friends. So now what I want you to do, since you had a chance to read the article once, you can go back through and read it again with your friends at home, and you can stop and ask and talk about those questions that we saw. When you are all done, I want you to think about our three words that we talked about, citizen, responsible, and obey. And I want you to use those in a sentence with your friends at home and talk about each of those words, and we'll see you again.